traders from around the world what is going on welcome welcome hope you're doing incredible robert santos says good morning good morning good morning hope you're doing phenomenal carolyn bailey says pennsylvania says hi well welcome carolyn thank you for letting me be a part of the pennsylvania family richard says hello albert says hello jeff says hello Funny story for those who are here, it took me like nine weeks to realize when people would type in the chat pane at GM that they were saying good morning and not requesting General Motors over and over and over. Josh, what's up? Pablo, welcome. Rich is in the building. Miss Sandra Brooks is here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Tracy, I did get your text message. I'm still thinking of how to answer it. <laughs> Daniel says, greetings. Hector says, buenos dias. That means good morning in Spanish. I like it. Tracy said, you saw the wink, right? I did. <laughs> I did. I did. Edgar says, instead of, instead of good morning, we should just say Tesla. I agree. I agree. Merrick says, third day in a row to trade with you, Jeremy. Yep. So starting next week, my morning routine schedule is going to change a little bit. So for those of you who have traded with me for many, many months and or weeks and or years, I've been trading Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, and what I'm going to do starting next week is trade Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday mornings with everyone and obviously be in the afternoon room as all, all as possible. So I'll be doing, uh, so, so we'll have more morning rooms together. Because in the past, I've been only doing Monday and fr Friday mornings. And now I'm going to do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday mornings just to switch it up. So we'll be trading more mornings together starting next week. So I'm really excited about that. Because I do love trading with you all in the morning and making those gains. <laughs> Sam's is finally getting away from Monday, Friday frustrations. <laughs> I just love Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. Exactly. I've uh, I said it so many times. I was like, in a perfect world, I would only work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Well, guess what, folks? Perfect world is coming. Perfect world is around the corner, and the way you get perfection is you surround yourself with amazing people. So Matt Delong, Robert Falco, Dan Jansen, thanks for making all this come true. Let's go talk about the markets, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first and foremost. We're going to go look at some gaps on the broader markets and then we'll go look at some individual companies. There's a lot of good movements out there. I'm still bullish by the way. And I heard rumors, I don't think he's here right now, but I heard rumors that Tony Pollock has been doing some bull call spreads and he is all fired up and excited. Um, sorry, not well, bull call spreads and bull put spreads. He's been doing bullish spreads. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's been working out really great. That was, a, that was a phenomenal, phenomenal credit spread on the SPY and the uh, S&P that he did. So I think it's wonderful. Robert says, Monday mornings is one of my best days. Exactly. So I figured, hey, if Robert, if one, Monday mornings is one of his best days, let's just have him do Monday mornings a lot. So that's, that's the way that's going to work out. So anyway, yeah, SPY. Um, it looks like we're gapping up. Looks like the overall trend's bullish, so I'm kind of looking at buying dips and being bullish today uh, is more or less my overall thoughts. If I can find the stock that's gapping down, uh, that will be going different than the market, so I'll be focusing on a gap down or two just in case, right? Having two or three gap downs, but the rest of the market is definitely gapping up. So if something's gapping down, if you guys can find some gap downs, something that looks nice, you let me know. Uh... Someone said First Solar. They're still in calls from First Solar. So congratulations, Mike. You're going to win nicely um, on those calls. So very well done. But yeah, First Solar, just continuing that bullish trend. Looks really, really, uh, really, really nice. Bed Bath & Beyond is always gapping down, right? They had earnings, hashtag what earnings. And yeah, I can put that on the list for sure. It's a very nice gap down, bearish gap and go on Bed Bath & Beyond. And looks like, uh, looks bearish. Cameron says, what are your thoughts on Amazon? Bullish, by the dip. All right. So Walgreens Boots. Now Walgreens is a blue chip stock, right? Blue chip meaning it pays dividends. It's been around forever. Everyone knows what Walgreens is. So we're gapping down to 40. So there is some support down here. 
And Walgreens will be a gap that I'm going to watch extremely close because if the whole market is up and Walgreens is down, some people are going to be like, what the heck? And they're going to kind of dollar cost average and pile into Walgreens. So I'm going to watch this for a fade today. A fade, again, is when a stock trades the opposite direction of the gap. So I'm expecting it to gap down and most likely, potentially, and possibly uh, trade higher. <clears throat> so we'll see. We will see. Mark says, what crypto site would you recommend to use to buy cryptos? Uh, use Coinbase, Mark. It's FDIC insured. All right. So here's Alibaba. A lot of you are asking about Baba because tons of traders made tons of money on Baba and I'm getting real bad FOMO right now. Now, the interesting thing is um, Baba's coming up on a split and I talked about this back in January of last year. So I knew this was going to happen and I just did not play it nearly as aggressive as I should. It's actually a pretty decent gap on Alibaba. You did have a lot of bulls yesterday. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on it. It's definitely list worthy. We might day trade it again bullish today, but as far as going long, I'm just going to be a little cautious simply because it's a, I mean, it's moved a lot already, but Baba, we'll see. All right. S O L O. This one's a very popular one yesterday, but it's gapping very, very small. So we can wait on that one. Um, in KLA, so this is one of the big ones yesterday. A lot of traders did very, very well on Nikola yesterday. And uh, congrats. So very well done. And it's added again today. So NKLA is gapping again today. It looks like a, another really strong bullish gap. So we will keep an eye on this one. And I'm going to watch it. We will watch it to see how we can play it bullish. There's a lot of uh, support resistance on NKLA around 60. So if we trade it in, up into 60, that's fine. If we trade above 60 on a pullback, that's fine. But yeah, NKLA is definitely worth watching. We talked about the SPY. SPY looks pretty strong. Square. So Square um, is gapping down a little bit. So Square is gapping down just slightly. And it made a new all-time high last night at 136 post-market. So I probably won't play square. Uh, if anyone played square with me yesterday, you lost small and one nice on Bob and one small on square. Eric Hensley and Edgar and a lot of other traders who are much better than me uh, played square bullish because that makes the most sense because that's the direction and that's the trend. Simon says, how high do you think square will go? You know, I really don't know. I really don't. Um, I've done some fibs and I mean, I guess at this point, I mean, whatever pullback is going to happen is going to be a dip buying opportunity, but big picture, man. I mean, 200, 300, anything is possible at this point. Square is a very, very good company. So if you're talking two years from now, who the heck knows, but it can absolutely go bananas long-term. Robert says he sold a July 31st, 180 covered call yesterday. Robin is still in and she got in at $67.85. So there's a lot of people making a lot of money on Square. This is one of our big positions that we talk about at RLT for a very long time. One of the stocks I've been most bullish on. And uh, I've been pumping this one hard, man. So hope some people are making some money on it. AMD. So AMD, I actually really, really do like the gap today on AMD. Uh, a lot of traders played this one yesterday. Right, we talked about AMD going long yesterday and some traders had some really good opportunities to make some change on AMD yesterday afternoon. So now we're gapping up above yesterday's high and you have like a perfect little hammer. Uh, Brad's doing pretty much the exact same thing over there in the, mo the morning day trading room, the beginner day trading room. So if you're looking at playing uh, AMD, you're probably looking at buying a dip. I'll keep it on the list because I, I could trade AMD every day for the rest of my life and not need any other company to trade. But uh, looks pretty good. AJ says, sometimes you win, sometimes <laughs> you knew some. You know what's funny, AJ? It's very funny you mentioned that because <laughs> I, uh, I came up with a quote last night that I thought was, well, not last night, two nights ago that I thought was cool. And it's very similar to that. Uh, the quote is, uh, you win some. You lose some, you win some, and then you knew some. <laughs> so anyway, oh man. 
AMD, I definitely gonna keep AMD on the list. This is a perfect hammer for a swing trade too. This is a perfect hammer. So really, 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 really good setup on AMD. And uh, I'll, this is the perfect hammer. So swing trade, day trade, bullish. As long as you're bullish on AMD long enough, you'll win in my personal opinion. Again, if you have a long-term time frame or calls or shares or something, but it looks really good. And uh, yeah, keeping that one on the list. Tesla's doing what Tesla does. Slack Technologies had a really, really good pop yesterday. Um, Edward, did you get a chance to sell those calls yesterday on work? So we talked about that a few days ago. I didn't get a chance to post it, but I did sell them some at the, uh, at the end of the day. Um, you could do it at market open. But we talked about it back in here and said, hey, if it pops again back up to this resistance, I'm selling some calls. So uh, I did the, because we have October 35. So I sold some October 49 calls um, on Slack Technologies against our 35 calls. So covered calls. Come over here really quick, give me one second. Sold to open 49 October calls against our 35 long October calls. So that's called a debit spread, AKA a bull call spread. And uh, you can still do that at open um, or, you know, Pretty, pretty relatively soon. So that's what you can, for anyone who's playing work technologies, Slack technologies, good company. A lot of traders are in some shares on that one. A lot of traders doing covered calls. I heard Amy has made some money on Slack at some point. So just a little bit of an update. Uh, I won't day trade that one, but that's kind of my thoughts. I can come back and talk about that later. Okay, Neo. So Neo is gapping up again, so we can watch it. Sure, why not? And Facebook uh, is doing what Facebook's doing. So Facebook looks good. All right, Costco, C-O-S-T. Costco is a small gap up above some previous highs. Yep, Costco looks list worthy. I'll put on the list. Thank you, Thomas Wong. C-S-C-O, Cisco Systems, 47, is gapping up above some previous pivots. Very blue chip gap. I probably won't personally play this one but it is gapping up nice. So it is a nice gap up on Cisco systems. There's a lot of gaps out there, tons and tons and tons. AJ, yep, we've already looked at your stock that you like a lot, Solo and Nikola, already covered them. Here's Pets, P-E-T-S, Pet Med Express. Um, we had a trader not too long ago buy some of these and Pet Med Express, really, really good gap, good breakout, good trends. So pets looks nice to continue higher. You know, so if you're playing pets, yeah, I guess just play it bullish. Roku. So Roku is gapping again. And this one, uh, this one could be it. Could be it. We've been looking at playing um, Roku last two or three days. And it's just a matter of time before it's breaking out this pattern. It is gapping above the high of yesterday. So Roku could finally be breaking out. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to put it on the list. We're going to see. If I lose on Roku, and that's fine. I lose all the time, guys. I hope you all know. I lose very frequently. I'm an incredible loser in the stock market. I just lose small. So I will be watching Roku. I think you guys are absolutely right. We still got 15 minutes before market open. And, uh, I got all, I got everything ready to go and ready to rock and roll. So we will see Zeus wants to look at V-E-R-I, Veritone. Veritone gapping up to 1334. Great gap. I'll put it on the list. Looks very pretty. Beyond Meat, Mike is looking at and requesting Beyond Meat. So BYND, we have a swing trade on it and it's gapping up incredibly, incredibly small which is not bad. I mean, it's a, I'm glad that it's gapping up at all, but I was really hoping it's going to gap up bigger. My big thought process on Beyond Meat is if we can close above 150, we should get some buying pressure. 
And I would like to see that. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying it could. And we're already in on a bullish swing on Beyond Meat. So let's hope it continues higher. I heard there's some traders in net. I don't know if that's accurate or not. I don't know if that's true. Uh, I heard a rumor that there's a lot of real life traders in net, AKA Cloudfare. And this is a phenomenal gap. Type in a seven if you remember me saying that this pressure was building on it bullish yesterday. So we talked about this one yesterday. Net, we've been looking at net almost every single day, every, every trading room for the last two months. And this is one that I have a little bit of a bullish position on potentially. Um, I may have some options on net. So I like the gap up. I like the trends. Be, be long, long is strong. Those calls will be profitable today, Ruben. Um, I'm assuming, I'm hoping, should be. So Cloudfare, uh, just stay bullish on that one. Okay. Let me go. Uh, you guys have a lot of questions. I'm trying to catch up. All right. Maya wants to look at SPXL. So SPXL is just the daily, uh, it's the SDS and P3X. That's all this one is. So this one just does three times whatever the SPY does. That's why I look at the SPY a lot, right? You can look at the SPY and, you know, the reason I analyze it all the time is you take that analysis on the SPY, you can apply it to any of the inverse or regular ETFs. So, yep, SPXL, if I'm bullish on the SPY, I'm bullish on SPXL. Natalia wants to look at Fastly. So Fastly's a very small gap down, folks. Very small gap down. Um, I bought back this put sale yesterday. Ron has a covered call and Fastly is a super, super small gap down. Very strong bullish trend, really nice gap yesterday, really nice close. Look to buy the dip on Fastly. So FSLY, long is strong, don't be short. Zynga, had a great gap yesterday. We covered it yesterday, it's a really good gap up. Um, had a phenomenal retest. Look at this five minute chart, look at this hammer. Look at this hammer. A three-toed sloth could have taken that hammer. Look at that. Look at this. Easy, easy, easy hammer. Nice retest on Z and GA. This one just doesn't move very much per day. Right, Luis Rodriguez? You don't get a lot of movement on Z and GA. It moves like maybe 15 cents a day. So I'm not really blown away. Um, I want something with some meat on the bones, man. Something to move. Angela says Max is finally moving, but she meant Maxar, M-A-X-R. Yeah, I mean, you never catch the exact bottom. You asked me if you wanted to sell puts on this one. Um, it was either Monday or Tuesday. And my answer was yes, selling puts at 1250 would be a great way to play it. So congratulations on Maxar. AJ says OPES is having some news this week or next week on the burger Phi merger for those who are interested. Yep. So it's had a really big pullback, but we are gapping up very small this morning. Um, yeah. If we can close above this hammer that came in on Tuesday, that's where I'd be looking at getting in bullish um, for some kind of quick day trades or something. Walmart is strongly okay. It's solidly decent. So we are gapping up. We talked about yesterday that it would gap up and fade and it did. And we are gapping up again on Walmart. It's, it's Walmart. So if you have a long enough time horizon, you can be bullish on WMT. What I do like about Walmart, JP, is you have a nice support resistance here. Really, really nice pre-market look. Uh, I, love the lo I love this lower shadow. I could put it on the list, actually. That, that candle is so pretty. I could see very, very easily how you could just trade sideways, you know, two, three minutes after open and then have a really quick pop up on Walmart. So I'll put Walmart on the list. It's Walmart. All right. Tracy Ball says LCA. No idea what this company is. Oh, another one of those financial conglomerates. Wow, AJ, we have another one, but you haven't, you didn't tell me about this one. Or you probably did. I might have just missed it. <laughs> AJ is like my go to financial conglomerate specialist. LCA, that's a very good gap. 
I have no idea what it's going to do, but I can watch it because that is a very, very pretty gap. My, one of my main favorite people in the entire world, Andres, wants to look at LMND Lemonade. And Lemonade is finally gapping up. So I watched this one a lot the last two or three days. It did fill this gap, which makes tons of sense. Here's the five minute chart. And yeah, we can watch Lemonade. This could be a very fun little bullish day trade for sure. It's about time. It's about time. Um, if I'm playing LMND today, and I very well might, I very well might. Let me give it like 10 or 15 minutes. Let's just see it do this and th something like that. I can put on the list. I have no problem with that whatsoever. This is, of course, not the beginner day trading room. So we can play some a little bit more aggressive stuff. But it's kind of what I like. Fazil wants to look at DocuSign. So I had a lot of traders ask me if they were going to short DocuSign yesterday. Uh, I said you should not. DocuSign's gapping up again. Folks, everyone and their mom should know exactly how DocuSign makes money. You probably use their company. Uh, you most likely use their company. You most likely use their product. This is a no-brainer long-term. Um, no-brainer, no-brainer long-term. Real estate stock, COVID stock, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to say. Uh, let me make a note to Aaron. Bro. Man, that stock I texted you about, or I was going to text you about, or wanted you to be in a few days ago, already up 9% last three days. DocuSign, bro. DocuSign. Okay. So anyway, buy the dip on DocuSign. Trends bullish. Daniel says Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft's doing what Microsoft does. It's, it's a bullish trend. The whole market's insanely, insanely bullish right now. So be long. I mean, until it stops working. Brandon Blevins says, selling a call against your long call is the poor man's covered call if it's the same expiration. It doesn't even have to be the same expiration, Brandon. It's a poor man's covered call anytime you sell a call option against the long call that you own. So it's just called a poor man's covered call because you don't have to buy the shares. So, yep. Good question. All right, a lot of people are asking about net ease, ticker symbol NTES. And again, this is another really, really good trend, really great gap. Wow, this thing is up huge. Oh my goodness. What an expensive stock too. It's about to be $500 a share. Unbelievable. I mean, I can trade it, but I probably won't. I probably won't trade Netties. VJ says, any gaps or leaps on DocuSign? Uh, we're going to talk about some leaps on DocuSign at some point. Yeah. Yep. All right. What time? We have six minutes into market open. Okay. I'll look at two more, two more uh, gaps. I'll look at two more if you want them in the chat pane. Now, for those of you who are wondering, it's not this busy normally. This is the free week, right? This is the open house week. So we have a lot of new traders who are in. A lot of traders who want to get acquainted with day trading. My biggest suggestion is if you do want to trade with us and you do like the pace, you do like working with a professional or working with a team of people that can help you look at things and bounce ideas off and talk with this. I would love if anyone here wants to sign up and be a part, but that's why we have two rooms, right? We have two rooms now because one room is going to be the beginner room. It's slower. There's less people. Right. If you think it's busy now, if we combined both rooms, it'd be even busier. <laughs> so RLT is growing. We have two rooms. One's a beginner room and one's an advanced room. And you're in the advanced room. So just letting you know. That's why we're going to have two rooms. And if you feel like RLT is a good investment for you, I think it's time to sign up. It's Thursday. It is Thursday. One more day left in the open house. All right, so Virgin Galactic, um, it, is, it is gapping, it is gapping. It's been trading sideways for a very long time, very long time, and I would wait for a close above the 100 simple moving average on the daily chart before I really, really start playing this aggressively. 
it's just consolidating for a while. So Virgin Galactic, uh, wait on that one and be bullish to neutral on that. And last but not least, Micron Technology. This one is gapping up small, 49.91. Uh, I like the gap up on Micron. Jeff has a put sale. What a great put sale on Micron at 45. Love, love that one. Daily chart looks good. Weekly chart looks good. Overall, my direction is bullish on Micron. All right, team. JC says, I joined in February and it was the best investment I've made this year. Boom. I love it. All right. So again, guys, there's 100,000 gaps in stocks we could look at every day. We can't make money on all of them. So this is the list that I have for right now. I can add, I can adjust, and I can tweak, but we can only have so many. I, someone once told me that I have two eyes. And I was like, oh, thank you. And then she said, your eyes are beautiful. And I was like, what's up, girl? <laughs> Just kidding. We have two eyes. We can only look at so much. Okay, you can have your broker set up a bunch of trades. You can have everything get created, but then it comes down to risk. Then it comes down to understanding what trade you're in. Then understand it's not being overwhelmed. Let's take our deep breath. We got three minutes until market open. Nice little stretch. All right. Money is abundant. Life is abundant. Energy is abundant. Time is abundant. Everything we want and need is right in front of us. All we have to do is ask for it and wait. So let's go look at our stocks that we're going to look at today. Walgreen Boots Alliance. I'm looking at this one very closely for a fade. So a fade means when it gaps down, I'll be looking at potentially playing it long. It won't happen immediately, but I'm looking at Walgreens boats, boots to go bullish. It's one of my favorite gaps of the day. Bed Bath & Beyond is going to zero. Obviously, you all know this. So it's just a matter of time before it goes to zero. And I appreciate all the articles, Andres, that you sent me, but Bed Bath & Beyond is just going to go lower. Um, no one shops there. No one likes it. No one here works at Bed Bath & Beyond. No one raves about Bed Bath & Beyond. So I'm going to keep an eye on Bed Bath & Beyond to go lower. Um, at some point, maybe not necessarily today, but at some point. Roku is one of my favorite gaps today. So Roku, I'm watching uh, very, very, very closely. So this is one of my top favorite gaps of the day is Roku. And I talked about getting some leaps, uh, some 150 calls. It might be today, it might be later today, but uh, I am planning on Roku to be long and strong over the next few days and weeks. That one's gonna move exceptionally well at some point in the future. AMD is a nice gap, Nikola is a nice gap, and KLA. LCA is an interesting gap. Costco is kind of interesting. Ver Veritone is kind of interesting. You got Walmart's kind of interesting. Baba, LMD. Uh, Neo is not interesting. Tesla, I'm probably not going to trade. Well, Square, I'm probably not going to trade today. Um, we'll see. Liam says, do you set up your, your orders before market open? I do. I don't have any today, though. I don't have any right now. So you notice I haven't really drawn any limit buys or any stops or anything like that. None of our charts have any setups on it right now. All right, there's no lines. I haven't set anything up yet. So when I start drawing those limit buys and those stop losses, that's your signal. But I don't have anything open right now. Market opens in 30 seconds. And again, our main goal as a trader, just don't lose a lot. That's pretty much it. John says, what target are you hoping for Roku? Give me a better question, John. What, what do you mean, my friend? Today, this year, on a month, end of year? Oh, geez, I have no idea. Uh, 150 at least. At least 150. 800 billion dollars. <laughs> exactly. All right, what should I have pull up on this one? I don't need that on this list. Okay, let me pull up Roku on that list. All right, get my Roku up. All right, so I got NKLA. Which one should I have up over here? Again, Roku is going to definitely move for sure. I agree. I agree. It's going to be very fast. I'm going to miss most of it initially, and I'm going to watch it. But Roku is a very, very nice gap. Very nice gap. So I'm popping to the one minute and just look for some type of uh, – I'm going I'm to sit out here on Roku for a bit. 
Walgreens. Again, I'm gonna give Walgreens three or four minutes and let it just do its thing. I'm looking for a potential long though, if it breaks above the high, right? It can keep going lower, that's, that's perfectly fine. Bed Bath & Beyond's going to zero, so everyone knows that. AMD, woo! AMD already filled Brad. AM, Brad is already in on AMD. Uh, I hope he got fast enough to get in and out. Okay, so let me, this is what I'm gonna look for on AMD. Okay, again, the market's been open 90 seconds, team. 90 whole seconds, there's a lot of day left. Take some deep breaths, it's okay. Don't stress out, don't rush it. If you can make $1,000 a day or $100 a day or $50 a day, that can be life-changing over time. It just takes a little bit of time. I've never traded this stock before, LCA. LCA. All right, I'm gonna watch it though. Sid says, Baba, yeah, Baba's, Baba's good. It's, Baba's gonna be a little bit of a, uh, it's gonna be a retest gap. It's a little high, Sid. It's a little high, so be, just be relatively patient on Baba. Roku is the one I want to watch, man. I'm just trying to get some kind of bearish candle on Roku. That's all I want to do is get a little bit of a bearish candle on Roku on the one minute chart. That's all I want for Christmas. Okay. AMD. So I'm going to watch that one very closely. NKLA, I'm watching. LCA, I'm watching. Walmart's doing its thing. So LCA, how spready is this one? Ooh, it's a little bit of a spready monster. For a, uh, for a stock this cheap, it's, uh, it's pretty spready. Well, $5 spread. All right, that's interesting. Good to know. All right, so again, Walgreen Boots. I'm not in long yet. I'm waiting for it to break above the high of this candle. I will watch it. I will keep an eye on it for sure. I'm just waiting to go long. I'm just giving it some time, watching and watching and watching. There's your bearish candle on Roku. And that might, that might be all we get. This green line, um, I'm not gonna be fast enough, I don't think. Nope, I'm not gonna be fast enough. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna be able to trade it. Gosh. All good, such a great gap. I wonder if I can do a limit buy on Roku. Roku is a spready little monster. Nope, I'm not gonna get fast enough. Okay, that's fine. Mike says lots of day left, like you said, that is true. All right, I'm gonna wait on Roku. Uh, I'm missing that one, guys. It's just gonna, it's gonna be a little bit too fast. It's gonna be, I'm not the greatest one minute trader in the world, and I know that. Baidu, we did get skipped over our swing trade for now, but I will leave it open. I'll leave it open. It could fill. Bets, B E T Z, uh, we got skipped over, but I'll be leaving that open as well. I'll come in and redraw those lines um, momentarily. CGC, gapping down, trying to get bought up. Hopefully it does. That'd be kind of cool. We have a swing trade on Progeny and it's just refusing to do anything cool. Refusing. Mike says, just sold my first solar call and got 4.2 hours. Great job, Mike. Very, very good job, my friend. Whew, Roku, my goodness. Mike says, thank you, Jeremy. Yeah, man, my pleasure. All right, I gotta get off this one minute chart. I'm not the greatest one minute trader. I'm really not. I'm not the best one minute. You think I should be, but just admitting my, just admitting what I'm doing. AMD, so AMD again, if you're, I mean, that's a beautiful limit about, you better be an AMD, Brad. 53.53, 53, right off of that previous hammer candle high. So Brad's already in on this one, or at least he should be. 53-53, great setup. Edgar's showing me his chart on AMD. Yeah. 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It's a perfect hammer on AMD. It's a very, very nice hammer. Lenny says he got in at 53.48. Nicely done, Lenny. So we'll be keeping an eye on AMD and we'll see what it does. Uh, we will watch it. All right. So Bed Bath is going to zero. NKLA, I'm going to watch very closely. LCA, ooh, that looks better. That looks better. It's just spready. There's a $5 bid ask spread on LCA. So I don't, or sorry, $5, five cents. There's a five cent spread on it. And I don't love that. Walmart, I don't know how long I'm going to leave Walmart on the list. Veritone, this is a nice gap on Veritone. It is. It really is. There's some targets up here. V E R I, Veritone. Veritone. I'm a veritone. I'm a baritone. Plan baritone. I almost felt like freestyling right then, but I decided not to. Lemonade. All right. So we got the pullback. This is what we drew early, early in the morning before market opened. So let me start planning that one. And I'll scoot that one up a little bit. Right. Alibaba is going to be a little fady today. Costco, I'm watching. Spy is dropping a little bit. Tesla's hanging out. Square is hanging out. Erica says, I did not get the email from Jeremy. Which email is that, Erica? You're here. Which email are you looking for? <laughs> Which one? All right. So again, Roku, this is the this was a target. This green line would have been, this would have been a target. I know I kind of have my lines different colors, but that's that's why Roku would have been in and out. Erica says, don't you send an email in the morning? You talked about it yesterday. Don't I send an email in the morning? Um, no, no, not specifically. AMD, yeah, it was a trap. AMD would have been a trap. Let's see, let me put an entry here. Okay, Thomas says, I think she's talking about the weekly options newsletter, most likely. Robert says, unless you sold the, sold the initial dip, you always do that, always. So again, just I'm gonna reiterate something really quick, team. Anytime you do like a, a blind limit buy, okay? So anytime you do a quick blind limit buy, and the stock flashes into your limit and it gives you a quick pop in the morning. So if in the first five minutes of the day, you go up 0.6 to 0.8 Rs, take it. Right? Just a quick little, just a quick little piece of info. That's, that's what I do very, very quick, frequently. If I just find like a fast little area where I'm like, you know what, let me set up a blind limit buy. If I get filled really quick, boom, I get filled in the first five minutes of the day. Because you got to think about it this way. Imagine you have a $1,000 risk unit, okay? If you have a $1,000 risk unit and you have a 0.6 R's at $600, if you go up $600 in the first six minutes of the day, are you going to take it? Most people always go, oh yeah, for sure. Definitely going to take it. It's like, well, the math is the math. It doesn't matter what your R is, right? It doesn't matter what your R is. So, because you can always get out, take a quick win, and then recalibrate. It's just that first six minutes. That's the key. If, you're, if you play a quick limit buy, boom, 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 and you get filled really fast in and out the gate in that first two, three minutes, just take the profit, lock it in, and then see if you want to play something else later. Right, so just a little bit of a heads up. That's that's just what I do uh, if I get the opportunity to do so. All right, let me pop in here to a three minute chart because that's really my specialty. Walgreens, I'm still waiting on Walgreens, folks. Still waiting on it. Bed Bath and Beyond's going to zero. AMD, I'm waiting on. Lemonade, still waiting on. Nicola and KLA, again, just giving us some time. It, it's up a lot. 
LCA. This does look really interesting, but it's a five cent spread right now on a $13 stock. So I got to let, let it break above there and then do a limit buy. I got to do, I got to do something like that. Bets swing trade fill. Yes, it did. So bets filled. All right. Here is NEM. So NEM, this is a swing trade that we're in. And it did gap up again today, which is cool. And it's just trying to do its thing. All right. Roku is showing some strength. Walgreens is still going down a little bit more. Uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, great gap. And again, AMD is getting that pop team. So if you are playing it, you can increase the stop. You can take some quick profits. It's just all about how you want to play AMD. But I love the hammer on the daily chart. Love it. Big, big fan. All right. Veritone. This is a three minute. So let me just give a little bit more time on Veritone. I'm just kind of waiting. I'm still waiting on some stuff. I will let you all know when I do it, when I do a trade. Tyler says he took square up for $3. Nicely done. Good job, Tyler. That's amazing. And Neo, I think I can take Neo off the list today. All right. So again, Roku is, is going to be, this one's going to be hard to catch. It's going to be, a, it's going to be a challenge. I mean, it's up 4%. It's a really, really good gap. Um, I would kind of prefer a retest into this candle, but if we get a super, super small candle here, that's a bearish candle, I will take another breakout or I'll, I'll attempt to take a breakout. This candle has to close bearish though on a three minute chart for me to take a breakout. So let me see if it does. Again, Walgreens, I'm not in yet. I'm still waiting on Walgreens long. And I might not get a shot too. We'll see. We will see. Okay. I think Brad said he's an apple. A-A-P-L. I don't know what that upper shadow is. Probably not real though. Most likely not real. All right. Roku. Sam says work just can't break that resistance. No, it can't. It just, it can't yet at least. Yeah. It can't do it yet. It'll break at some point. Yeah. It'll break at some point. That's why I wanted to sell that call yesterday on that pop. Let's go see how net held up. Net, I'm going to put that on the list. It's a strong gap today. Really, really pretty move. I don't know if I'm going to day trade it. Fastly, told you guys, don't short that thing. It gapped down and it's already gotten bought up and made a new all-time high. So, Fastly still showing some strength. Pretty incredible. Oh, man. So, FSLY doing its due diligence, putting in some work. All righty, Cloudera down, CLDR, gapped up. It's a nice morning star, gapped up and started fading at open a little bit. Casper says, can you look at Bank of America? Bank of America, what is that doing? It's like the smallest average range ever for day trading, Bank of America. It's extremely, extremely liquid, but I mean, it does not move very much. It's literally an inside candle so far on the day. Um, if it closes above yesterday's high, be long. And if it closes below yesterday's low, expect it to trade a little bit lower would be my thought on Bank of America. Extremely small daily ranges for day trades. But it's very, very liquid. So if you're looking at playing it, it has some opportunity. All right, three minutes on Roku. Yep, I can do that. It's going to be a little aggressive. Is it going to miss me again? Shh. 
shoot. Uh, let's see. It might try it. 14014 by 13858. Okay. I'll make that official on Roku. On Roku. 14014. By 138.58, was that what it, is that what it is? Yep. It's gonna be fast and I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if it'll fill. I don't know any of that information. And if we missed it by like eight seconds, that's also okay. But I think it could fill. I'm all right to leave it open. I'm okay, leave that one open. 140.14 by 138.58 on Roku. The target would probably be like 142. I'm not expecting a whole heap ton on that one. I'm not expecting a whole craziness, but we could just get one one R and some change on it is a possibility. It's a possibility. So I'll put 142.08 as a potential target for now. I like the volume. Okay, let me put official on the screen. So just trying to get it on a pullback, right? Again, don't know if it's gonna work, ladies and gentlemen. I never do. I hope it works, but if it doesn't, that's okay. You're gonna lose on trades. Trades will be lost on over time. You will lose on a trade ever so often. AMD, beautiful, 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 beautiful job. Beautiful job, what a hammer, what a gap. Perfect swing trade. Eric Hensley, where are you at? I know he's already playing this one. Eric and I set up a trade on AMD yesterday during the Team Nashville meetup. <laughs> he said, do you like this hammer? I was like, dude, that's the most perfect hammer of all time. This is the most perfect hammer in history right here on AMD. It's so good. Everything about it is amazing. Everything about that hammer is just incredible. Joseph says he's still in from a swing trade. Nice to done, Joseph. So again, Walgreens, uh, this is coming down to a spot where it could maybe go long. Best Buy, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, lemonade. So again, if you're playing Lemonade, we talked about it potentially dropping this morning. So this morning I drew in the green, the blue squigs. Right, so if you're looking at playing it, it had that quick dip and did its thing. Felicia says, what are your thoughts on NGHC? Uh, looks like a buyout. So those are my thoughts. Move on to the next trade. It got purchased. LCA, um, doesn't look like it's gonna do anything great yet, but it's still at least worth watching on the list. Uh, the spread has calmed down, which is good. Walmart also bounced. I didn't get a chance to play Walmart. But that one did bounce. Really, really nice little setup right there. Baba, I would wait on a dip on Baba. I would wait. Let it pull back a little bit farther. If you're looking at playing Baba long, probably 256, 58. You can try to see if you want to snag something there. Mark says Upwork, UPWK. Upwork uh, looks phenomenal. Good job on Upwork. Looks amazing. AYX gapping up to a new all-time high. Net again hanging out. Roku might have missed us by six pennies. What a month! Woo! <laughs> Is that a six-cent miss? Oh man, I love it. 
Dan Jansen says two R's on AMD. Nice to done, Dan. That's my boy. Go get it, son. Best Buy, LMND, NKLA is still building pressure. Walmart. Oh, Veritone is running. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Again, perfect gap and go. Type in a six if you see a similar pattern, ladies and gentlemen. Chris says, I'm an AMD too. Where I should put a target? Put a target for 54.22. There you go. You just hit it. Good job, Chris. So type in a six if you guys see a very, very similar pattern on Veritone. Three minute candle, big bearish candle, bearish volume, gap and go. Do you guys remember, does that look familiar? <laughs> you should have seen it yesterday, should have seen it Tuesday, should have seen it Monday. All of those patterns, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But when they do work, it's cool. And when they don't work, it's also fun. Jason L says, I did not do it. Should have. Walgreens, still waiting on that one. Lemonade, again, had a quick flash lower and then bounced. Benjamin says, it's too late to buy into Veritone. Yep, you missed it. Roku, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we would have hit the target on Roku. Oh, my goodness. Only I can, I feel like only I miss trades by six cents. <laughs> uh, I think I could leave that open, ironically enough. Joel says, I'm done for the day, baby. I love an early day. What'd you play, Joel? You snagged AMD, didn't you? Good job, Joel. Ladies and gentlemen, type in a one if you played AMD. Let's see, we got Edgar, we got Josh, we got Amy, we got Enzel, we got Aaron, we got Matt, we got Chris, we got Lenny, we got John, we got Terry, we got Greg, we got Joseph, we got John. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Over 50 traders played AMD. I mean, did I, did I make it clear, folks, that the hammer was good before the market opened? Top of the six if I made it kind of clear. Again, there's no way I can, I can't specifically say, hey guys, do buy this right now, please. I can't really specifically say that. But I can say, hey guys, look, this is the greatest hammer of all time. <laughs> look what a phenomenal hammer this is. It's perfect. If it goes higher, look to get in bullish. Replay the recording if you need it. Robert says, retest the top of yesterday's bar and bounce. Classic, simple, easy, so good. Carlos Jimenez says, two R's. I'm out. I'm going to keep watching your greatness. Bam! I'm getting jacked. You guys are getting me pumped up. Daniel says, Jeremy, do you scalp sometimes? Yeah, man, absolutely. I definitely scalp. Little scalpy McScalperton. I've been known. I've been known to do a little scalpy here and there. Virgin Galactic. I did not play Virgin Galactic. Uh, but you're absolutely right, guys. It is running. It's a good gap. And we're about to get above the 200. So my thought is uh, at some point we'll be able to do a little bit of a pullback. But congratulations. I mean, that's really, really great. Oh, Roku, 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 Roku. Angela, are you in Angela? <laughs> oh man. The five minute bar breakout is also quite nice. That's a very, very nice breakout right here on Roku. Very nice five minute bar breakout. Angela said she's in Roku, nicely done Angela. Walgreen still kind of waiting on this one, but we really don't need to take any other trade for the day, honestly. This could be one of those days where we just go, all right, guys, awesome, and just high five and we're done. Faz says, can we swing trade Roku? Uh, yes, you can. With a gap like that, absolutely. Ruben, I heard Ruben's up an R or two recently. Lenny says, out of 
AMD at 5436. Nicely done, Lenny. Uh, beautiful hammer, Ruben. You're absolutely correct. Very, very nice. If you're, if you're looking at playing it, entry here, stop right there. Uday says he's out of Roku. Nicely done, Uday. All right, a lot of you guys are selling AMD. And again, folks, just keep in mind you're never going to sell the exact high ever. You'll never sell the exact high. So, whatever price you get out of is going to go higher. Always. Always, always, just keep that in mind. Remember, repeat that to yourself over and over and over. I'm never gonna sell at the exact high. So when you sell, it's just easier. Mark, I just looked at AYRO, my good friend. Literally 18 seconds ago. Yep. Zeus says, do you think Veritone is out of reach? I think you missed Veritone, yes. Yep. The setup was the three minutes bear candle breakout. So if you're not in, you definitely missed that one. Let it pull back to 1408 and then we'll see. We'll see what it does. Baba, I'd still wait on Costco. I didn't play Costco at all. I mean, it's a good gap. It's a good gap. I just you can't be in everything. So I don't have any position in Costco. Spy is just hanging out for the most part. Um, square. Nice hammer on square. Lucian says she is out of AMD for one R. Nicely done. Amy says out of AMD for 2.25 Rs. Awesome stuff, team. All right, here it comes. You guys ready? I'm bringing in a sales pitch. Our mission at Real Life Trading is to enrich lives. If you feel like this is an opportunity that you enjoy, here's what I want everyone who is a part of Real Life Trading to do. I want you to make extra income with trading. I want you to pay off debt. I want you to invest in your future, your family's future. I want you to achieve financial freedom. The stock market is the greatest place to create wealth, create cash flow, liquid. I love real estate. And I go to real estate conferences all over the world to tell real estate professionals how to invest in the stock market. Because the stock market is fast, it's liquid. It's amazing and you can see it every single day. You can see it change every single day. We provide community support. We provide self-study courses. Just this year, we have printable workbooks. We have quizzes, reviews, final exams. We give you certificates of completion and we have mentor groups coming up in two weeks. So we're gonna do our absolute best to make sure that you have the opportunity and the ability to get all the information you want as it relates to trading. So we cover day trading at Real Life Trading, we cover swing trading, we cover long-term investing, we, talk, we cover retirement, we talk about stocks and options, we have a futures course, we have an algos course where you can build your own trading robot, right? You can build your own trading robot for those of you who are interested, how cool is that? But really it's all about the community, the Real Life Trading community this is where you can build personal relationships. This is where you can really spend time with leaders and people from all around the world. So what you've all been experiencing with me the last four days has been the regular day trading room. We do have an entire other room, which is the beginner's morning room. So we have two rooms going on simultaneously that you can choose and pick. We go from nine to 2 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday. Right, we do in-depth stock analysis. We talk about day trades every single day. You get access to the trade logs. And both myself, Brad Reed, Dan Jansen, Robert Falco, Johnny Guarco, and Tony Palak, we all are doing these live full-time. This is what we do. This is how we trade. This is how we make our money. And it's something that I would love each and every one of you to be a part of. So if you feel like Real life trading is a good community. If you think that you like the energy of the room, if you enjoy being here, if you like the exuberance and you like the trades and you like the analysis and bottom line, if you're making money, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. We do have a promotion going on. Since it is the free week, you can sign up. If you wanna do the entire year, you'll save 17%, right? The entire, an entire year is 2,400 bucks. Uh, Terry made 2,400 bucks to yesterday. If you have a thousand dollar risk unit, this is literally a drop in the bucket, but you don't have to do the entire year. If you wanna do just one month, 
$249 a month, I personally think is less than my cell phone bill, or at least right at it. And you can make a lot of money with your cell phone. You can make a lot of money with this trading room. So if you want to join the day trading room and you get access to either room, whichever one you think you're more comfortable in, you can pop in and out of both. I will be moderating both rooms from time to time. This will be the room that I'm in most, but I will absolutely pop into the beginner room every so often and go really, really slow and do some in-depth teaching, some back trading, some breakdowns, some analysis, making sure you guys know why Roku was such a perfect gap. Make sure you all know why AMD was such a perfect setup. We'll be able to talk about that. And if you're into the afternoon analysis, if you're into swing trading, if you're into longer term trades, uh, if you're into options, if you're into credit spreads, if you're into investing, I do a little bit of everything in the swing trading room that's from five to 6 p.m. Eastern. Every single day, we record it. So we email out the recordings. Again, you get access to the official swing trading log and we have tons and tons of swing trades. This whole program pays for itself weekly. So normally it's $2,300 a year. If you wanna do a pay a year up front, it's $19.95. If you wanna do month to month, it's $199 a month. $199 a month. So again, again in my opinion, $199, that is, that is a steal for any type of actual monthly investment. The weekly options newsletter, we send out two trades a week via email. This is the one that we traded on First Solar, right, FSLR. So I send out two trade setups every single week. And just for now, we could even improve this in the future by doing credit spreads and option sales. But right now it's directional call options or put options. And we send it out Tuesday morning and Tuesday afternoon. But Slack is not included with the weekly options newsletter and it's $99 a month. If you want everything that we have to offer, we can bundle the entire thing. So if you bundle the entire thing, again, it's $349 a month. $349 a month, you get the day trading rooms, you get the afternoon swing trading rooms, and you get the weekly options newsletter. Or if you want to pay for it all up front and save some money, it's $3,900 for the entire year. So for the whole year, you get everything. So again, it depends on where you're at, if you're investing. If you have over $100,000 in your account, this is only four R's. So you can make four R's back by next Thursday. <laughs> a week from today, you can make four more R's. So it just depends on where you're at, where you're at financially, where you're at with your time. If you wanna test it out and try it out, let me make sure I go ahead and give you all the links right now. But I will answer any questions about signing up. I do personally think this is a really great investment. And again, if you played AMD, you have to understand this, my friends. The point of learning how to trade, the point of being with this community and being with the team is not, are you gonna make money every single day? What you have to ask yourself is, can you take the principles and the knowledge from this experience and apply it to the future, right? Think through that. Can you apply this into the future? Three years from now, can you be a better trader than you are now? <laughs> Three years from now, will you have more wealth? Will you have more knowledge? Will you have a better grip on your finances? It's not gonna happen immediately. Nothing happens immediately in life. You're gonna to have to work for some things, you're gonna to have to grow with some things, but you do have the opportunity to spend time with an incredibly, incredibly wealthy community. There are multiple millionaires, liquid millionaires in this chat room. And check it out, my boy Steve got 8.8 .8 Rs on Roku. 8.8 .8 Rs. Guys, 8.8 .8 R's. I just said if you, had, if you did four R's and you have a $1,000 R, you're going to pay for the entire year. He just got eight. That's amazing. Lewis says, what would you suggest for someone with a full-time morning job? The only weekday I have off is Friday. If you work full-time, I would personally suggest doing just the afternoon swing trading room. 
So if you work full time, I would personally do the afternoon swing trading room. Um, that's going to be the one that's most valuable to you. And that way you're going to be part of the community still. You get access to everything um, and you still have a lot of opportunity to be a part of the team. Josh, ask me that question later and I'll answer it. Um, Robert says, also depends on your time zone. If you're in the West Coast, you could probably have time to trade before work. Absolutely true. Let me go ahead and answer some of your questions. What other questions do you have for me, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going to pause here on this for just a bit because I would love to know what you guys need, what you have for me. Alonzo says, I'm interested in the weekly options newsletter. Any idea when you'll give access to the credit spreads? Um, no, I don't have any idea on that, Alonzo. Mike says, how long does the promotion run? Until Monday. Edgar says, sometimes you just need 30 minutes in the morning. I absolutely agree. Aviator one says, what percent of the mornings is Newsom running the morning session? So Aviator, uh, I do take breaks. I do take vacations. Uh, I do try to live a life ever so often. <laughs> so if you want to know the schedule, um, go to live trading and just scroll down to this calendar and you'll be able to see an updated schedule of when I'm going to be in the rooms. So next week I'm in the rooms Wednesday and Thursday because I'm, uh, I'm going to Cancun with my girl and we're going to hang out and have a pretty good week. And then the week after that, um, I'll be doing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So usually Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday mornings is when I am going to be in the day trading room. And I'm in the afternoon swing trading room pretty much every day. Al says, is the subscription prorated? No. So it just it's a monthly billing. It's just a monthly billing cycle. So for example, if you start and you do your monthly payment today, the next payment will come out on August 9th. Mr. Patel says, if we sign up for the monthly plan and for some reason I'm terrible and don't make the 200 and just keep losing money, would you help me identify what I'm doing wrong? Of course. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's, the point of the, that's the point of all of it. Yeah. That's the point of a community for sure. Justin says, if you sign up for the month, will the annual start after the month ends? If you sign up for the month, will the annual start after the month ends? No, you'll just be in your month to month billing. The annual payments, uh, the annual deals will go away on Monday. So you'll just be on your monthly billing. Mr. Patel says, do you have a bundle for day trade, swing trade and weekly options? I do, yes sir, this is it right here. So it's 349 a month, or if you wanna do the whole year, it's 3995. So I'll put that in the link. AJ says, if we're already members, can we get that yearly deal? You can, yep. So click on the link. If you're already a member and you wanna get the yearly deal and save some money, you definitely can. Because there's a lot of traders right now that are on that three, four, nine a month plan. So if you just do the math, right? If you do the math, you're gonna have a little bit of savings because the bundle is you're getting all of this, getting a little bit of everything. So, yep. Tyler says, can you commit to a year and pay it off monthly? No. Good question though, man. That's just how life is sometimes. <laughs> Luis says, I work 2 a.m. to 10.30 with a 30 minute lunch break, anywhere between six and seven. Do you think the day trading room is doable? Uh, Luis, how about you just, just start with the afternoon swing trading room? and just practice it. Just do the afternoon room for a while and then just see how your work schedule is. If you make money trading with us in the afternoon room, then you can kind of go in and crush it from there. Joe Vaughn says, how much is a coaching session? It depends on a lot of different factors. Uh, it depends on your age. I, I do really good deals for anyone who's 25 or under because let's face it, they're 25 or under. So it depends on your age. It depends on a lot of factors. You're 19. Well, shoot me an email then. <laughs> yeah, shoot me an email. I give, I give people deals if they're like, if they're just young, you know, if they're a young woman or young man, and they're just out there starting out on it. 
Um, I'll give deals to younger people, man. Because it's not cheap. <laughs> AJ, <laughs> AJ says his name literally means young. That is true. Oh, it's true. Craig says, if we sign up for the monthly, will it stay that price every month? Yes. We're not going to jack up your price. So you're going to get locked into that price. Yep. Tim says, we're on a senior citizen discount. I don't do senior citizen discounts. Seniors are smart, wise, and rich. They should pay more. <laughs> VT says, do you have a beginner's room? You know, it's funny that you mention it. It's a great question. But we do have a beginner's room. Yep, we definitely do. Jackie says, I'm trying to get my dad to think about investments. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, Jovan, um, email me. Uh, if you want to do coaching with me, Jeremy at reallifetraining.com. But the answer to your question, ladies and gentlemen, is generally um, I do three coaching sessions. Um, and three coaching sessions uh, are $3,900 a piece. So that's generally how much a coaching session is with me. Uh, we do three coaching sessions over the month, over the course of two or three months, and it's thirty nine hundred bucks. So I mean, what three coaching sessions is about the exact same price as this? Jovan says, once I make that much off of trading, I'll take all my profits to you. Cool, man. But if you're nineteen, I mean. <laughs> keep that hustle alive my friend albert says 3900 for three sessions yes that is correct justin w says if my monthly subscription is for two more weeks if i purchase the annual will it start right away that's a really good question um it will so what i would do justin is we can prorate you on that situation man Again, we'll take care of you guys. We have a very, very good customer service uh, profile. Just email my buddy, Matt. Um, if you want to shoot him a quick message or you can just message him on the channel. He's on here right now, but we'll get you prorated. Yeah, so pretty much we'll just prorate you and get you all, all, all squared away. Robert says, we also have mentoring groups coming along and that's gonna be going really, really well. Yes, the mentoring groups are gonna be epic. And we just got stopped out on CGC, swing trade. Graham says, coaching with JR is the greatest investment someone could make. Dude, thanks, man. That's such a kind thing to say, bro. I really appreciate that. I spend a lot of time and energy on it, folks. I really, really do. I put a lot of work into it. BJ says, what are mentoring sessions? They are exactly what they sound like. So those are coming out in two weeks. More information on them in two weeks, but it's exactly what it sounds like. All right, guys. Well, that was my sales pitch. I hope you all join. That's it. All right. Roku, people making money. AMD, I mean, a one-legged squirrel could have made money on AMD today. Walgreens is hanging out. Best Buy slowly going to zero. Uh, I'm not Best Buy, sorry, Bed Bath & Beyond. Lemonade, what a nice pullback on Lemonade. Chris says, I just made three months of real life trading with AMD. There you go, Chris. Angela said, Jeremy's coaching is why I've been here for five plus years. I love my vacation money. Woo, there we go, Angela. Love it. Tencent Music. Um, Tamid, man, I... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Incredible, incredible gap, and I wish I would have held more. Jack says, why didn't you trade AMD today? I did. I set up AMD yesterday at the Real Life Trading Nashville Retreat. Bite off the high of yesterday's hammer. Stop at the low of the day. Easiest trade setup of all time. I set that up yesterday, dude. Um, Tamid says there was unusual call option activity on TME yesterday. Well, I, it had already gapped. So this, this is already a phenomenal trade. 
So buy a pullback. It looks great. Mark says, I took my last TME calls off this morning. Total gain, 4.1 Rs. Amazing, amazing job. Faz says, after 10 so-called gurus and a lot of money spent at the end, the humble but awesome free videos of real-life trading taught me all I need to trade. If I'm in the U.S., I'd personally come and visit you. Hey, I appreciate that. Where, where do you live, Faz? Where are you in the world? Malaysia. How cool is that? That's amazing. I've never been to Malaysia. I've never been to Malaysia. So thanks for coming in. Jack says, do you have a live screen of what you, of what trades you were in? A live screen. Uh, it's just called the day trading room. It's where you're at now, Jack. That's where you are, my man. My goal is to help you trade. I don't want you to follow me just blindly, I wanna teach you how to trade, right? I want you to understand how to do what you wanna do. There's a lot of gurus out there, man, who are much better than I am, and you're welcome to go trade with them, but I'm the best educator in the world at the stock market, so if you wanna learn how to trade, that's cool. If you just wanna to pay to watch me make money, man, just have a coaching session with me. We'll sit down and you can just, you can pay me so much money to watch me trade. If you want to do that, that's totally cool. We'll pull up Thinkorswim. I'll go over to your house. I'll sit right beside you and you can pay me to watch. <laughs> I'll make so much money and you can just pay me to watch it. It's really cool. But I'd rather teach you how to do it. It's just better for you, you know, if you know how to make your own money. It's just so much simpler that way. VJ says, would you sell cover calls on AMD today? Uh, that's a really, really good question. I would not actually. I would not. I would act. I would hold because this is a really, really good hammer. Just a perfect setup. If you do sell a cover call though, VJ, it's not a bad deal by any stretch of imagination. So if you're selling fifty nine or sixty dollar cover calls on AMD, go for it. That's absolutely fine. Um, you know, right? If you get called away up here, you're gonna be profitable. But I think you could wait two or three more days because I think AMD is just kind of starting to get going. But long story short, I mean, if you do, awesome. Roku is an unstoppable animal. Unbelievable. I cannot believe we missed that trade by six pennies. Wow. Oh, boy, oh, boy. That is such a good gap on the daily chart. Look at that gap. Look at the gap. I mean, it's above everything. Whoo-wee. Man. Ed Edgar says, and we missed the leaps in Roku that you're planning. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll still be able to buy them, though. We'll still be able to buy them. Tracy, for you, I would say no. I would say just focus on your day trades. All right, so WBA, so going lower. Walgreens Boots had earnings. That's why it gapped down. Had a earnings, so it's gapping down. Lemonade uh, doing its thing. NKLA, we can keep an eye on. LCA is still trading sideways. Walmart had a good pop, so it already made its move. I missed Walmart. Uh, Baba, we'll see about. Veritone's probably not going to pull back. Costco is pulling back. It looks like the market's pulling back. Yeah. Look at Spy pulling back. Nice. Wow. You wouldn't know that Spy's pulling back if you're looking at some of the stocks that we're looking at, like Roku. Benjamin says, I got one R on Baba and one R on Roku. Got to go lift heavy equipment. All right, man. Take care. Okay, Tesla still hanging out, Square is hanging out, and Cloudflare, take a small NET is hanging out. Go look at Texas Instruments, TXN's doing its thing. Aaron Campos got 2.4 hours on Roku. Uh, someone asked about Chewy earlier. 
So Chewy, if you're in a swing trade on Chewy, if you're in shares, just keep holding that one, Pablo and Matt. Uh, I do have some positions where I'm in on Chewy. I do have an account where I'm in some Chewy shares long-term. Not a lot, though. But uh, just keep holding that. It looks good. Just let it slowly consolidate. Let it hang out and do its thing for a while and then just grind higher. So, yeah, Chewy, just sit back and relax on that one. Bryson says, I'm in an upwork swing. Would you hold? Yes, I would. Keep holding upwork. Again, net. Net's looking kind of cute. AYX had a nice little gap up today. NEM, I like the gap on NEM, just kind of hoping it's going to continue higher. Josh says, hold DocuSign. Um, tell me more. David, what are you in? How are you playing it? Mr. Patel says, what do you think about NVIDIA? Uh, NVIDIA is a little high. I would wait on NVIDIA. Give that one some time. You're kind of chasing NVIDIA a little bit if you're getting in. Josh says he got in at 200. Oh, nice. Okay, so you got in yesterday. Um, well, man, all I can say is it depends on a lot of factors. It depends on uh, what your goal with the trade is. Do you need to make it a bill paying money? Is it an investment? Do you want to pay off something? Do you need the cash flow? All of those things should be considered. So if you want to stay in, just, I would say, stay in. It looks nice. Mike says, I sold Virgin Galactic calls for three R's. Wow. Good job, buddy. Great, great trade. Okay. Steph says, where would you put your stop on Cloudera? So I'm not going to use stops on Cloudera. I'm only going to use protective puts. Steph, uh, I do have videos and all the information you're going to want to need on protective puts, but 979 should do it. Yeah. 979 would be a great spot to start playing some defense on Cloudera. So right now, I mean, really, she's still just retesting this neckline. Just kind of slowly hanging out. Tracy says, what are your thoughts on Slack double bottom? I like it. And the market will not make it easy. So if we do one of these numbers, we'll have a pretty gnarly retest. But I like Slack double bottom. Slack long term is going to be a great investment. I think that's a company that can easily, easily grow. Julian has some put sales. We have a few traders with some shares. We have a few traders with some call options. Um, yeah, it looks really nice. Roku and AMD, the big moves of the day, team. Moody says, can you look at D? Dominion Energy, where would we buy for a swing trade? Wow, looks like it's just getting absolutely murdered. Matt says, are you still in LAUR long term? Bro, look at my hair. L-A-U-R was the reason I had to shave my head. So the answer to that is no. <laughs> All right. Dominion Energy. There's my thought, Moody, on where to get in on Dominion Energy. Okay. Nicola, NKLA. Someone says you got some hammers on NKLA. We do. We do got some hammer candles brewing. It is a relatively decent gap, and I do like how it's pulling back, so I'm going to be watching NKLA. If you're playing it, just let it trade sideways a little bit longer because you got to keep in mind it is up a butt ton. Look at this. It's up 45% in the last three days. You know what this chart looks exactly like to me? I'll give someone $10 right now if you can tell me what chart does this remind me of. Who wants $10 of my money? If you can tell me the chart in the next 10 seconds, you get 10 bucks. Now you have to read my mind, which is not gonna be easy. But if you get it right, I promise I'll answer you. What chart does this remind me of? Tilray, nope, Tesla, nope. Workhorse, nope, Beyond Meat, nope. Silver, no, Spy, no, Roku, no. Netflix, no, JP Morgan, no. Bitcoin, no, Lemonade, nope. GoDaddy, nope, 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 nope. IQ, nope, Google, nope, Square, nope. 
All right, so this one reminds me of Virgin Galactic. Virgin Galactic, look at this. Edgar says, I said Virgin Galactic, did you? I don't see that in the chat pane. <laughs> Edgar did get it? He did, SPC, okay, I'll send Edgar 10 bucks. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much what it was. I mean, look how, look how fast we ran up, super quick drop and quick little pop, right, into moving averages. Like, see that, that, that gap, that bullish candle, it rolls over and then just died from there for a while? That's probably what NKLA is gonna do. Edgar says, donate it. All right, where to, my friend? You tell me and it will be done today. But yeah, Virgin Galactic, um, it, it, I'm not saying it's gonna happen. I'm not saying the exact same thing is gonna occur. I'm just saying there's some really, really similar prop, uh, very, very similar, very similar principles here. So if we go back to NKLA, I mean, look at that. You know how to tell me that doesn't look similar, guys? Natalia says, Fastly is up. Yep, Fastly, great dip buy opportunity. Phenomenal trend, gorgeous company. You said it to me in a WhatsApp message this morning, Natalie. You said, Fastly is a great stock. It's only going to go higher because of COVID. With the pandemic stocks, they won't go down. And I wrote, I agree. Greg Gilbert says, what's the target on AMD? Um, pretty much now. Yeah, man, pretty much right about now on AMD. What a phenomenal, phenomenal trade. What a good swing trade. Eric Hensley, where is he at? Eric Hensley. Bro, Eric, where are you at for your swing trade, man, on AMD? How epic of a setup was that? <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, Greg's holding for a swing trade. How many shares are you holding, Greg? More than 100? 500? Do a covered call at 60, expiring this week. How many, what kind of premium do we have on that? Let me go check for you. Give me three seconds. Covered call, 60. Nope, no money this week. So do a next week, $60 covered call, you'll get 54 cents. Josh says, flip this together, Eric. Nice job. Yep. Flip this together, him and his wife, Nikki, they were at the Team Nashville meetup yesterday. And me and Eric sat down and set up the trade on AMD together. Jason, you were there, man. Hope you smashed that beautiful hammer on AMD. Greg says, done deal. Yeah, bro. Uh, Matt, good question. By the way, type in a five if you have any interest in coming to Nashville to trade with us in person. Talk about the Nashville retreat. Um, okay, if you guys do have any interest in doing that, it's really not ridiculous. It's actually quite, quite reasonable. Um, here's the retreat, September 6th through the 11th. It is coming up. Let me send some details in it right now into the chat pane. If you did type in a five, we had uh, doc, uh, Dr. V get in yesterday. So it's in Nashville, Tennessee, and I think you guys get the point. It's pretty much gonna be doing this, what we're doing right now, but actually physically in person. So we'll be, we'll be trading together in person. Andres, you're coming, right? You and Natalie? <laughs> By the way, two things. Last year, last year, September of 2019, Matt DeLong stood on stage for an hour and talked about why everyone should get into Shopify at 300 a share. Just letting you all know. What was the other stock pick? Um, last year that we talked about Pinterest. So granted, Pinterest took a little bit of a different turn. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the winner, I'm gonna show you the loser, right? We also talked about Pinterest and it's also been pooping the bed since then, but it is back to break even. 
We also discussed Amazon and we talked about how Amazon would 100% without question double in the next two, three years. Right, we sat, we sat on stage and just talked mathematically why Amazon was gonna double in the next two years. Had no, no idea that COVID would happen. We're just simply saying that this is what Amazon's gonna do and this is why. By the way, my buddy who's outside, Jesse LeVan, he's outside in another room. Uh, he's visiting, he took his account from 20,000 and made it 50,000 this year off of Amazon. Took an account from 20K to 50K just trading one stock. How cool is that? And he was playing options. He's playing options. So it's all about who you know and how you know it. All right. Well, that's one hour of recording. Um, actually, an hour and a half of the recording. So for those watching the recording, thanks so much for being here. If you get the opportunity, please join us for the Nashville retreat in September, or at least be a part of the experience that is the real life trading rooms 